You're here. Baelite! Turn Terra's head around right now! Leaders of the other nations are prepared to stand with us. Your plan has failed. Soggy's right, Father. If you stop now, the other leaders said they're willing to write the incident off as an internal dispute. Please! This has to end! Failed? I think not. Everything's gone exactly as I hoped. Once I've destroyed you, Soggy, the last of the Maladeators, I won't need to plan anymore. This war I've been fighting can finally come to a close. Milliard, I have you to thank for everything. You've done well bringing Soggy here to me. No! No, no, no! Father, you're so wrong! I'm not someone you can just tell what to do anymore. I came here because I wanted to, not because you said I should. What you're doing is wrong, Father. Don't you see? I came here because I have to stop you! I see. I was wondering why you hadn't reported in. And now I know. You've been poisoned by the venoms of your own heart. Listen to me, Father. The power people have in their hearts, it's not evil. I know, because of my travels with Sagi. All the people I've met, all the experiences I've had. Everyone came as a shock to me, because I'd never been anywhere but the mansion. I learned more with Sagi than the School of Magic could ever teach. King Ladakam's devotion to his friend Gibari. Rodolfo's courage in defending his homeland. Queen Corellia's noble compassion for the world. Gina's unfaltering love for her children. They all believed in their hearts. And now, I believe too. These feelings in my heart, the feelings I have for Sagi. I won't let you take them. I can't let you. What's the point of Machina if we have to give up our hearts for it? Machina. <laughs> Machina! That's what the world doesn't need! Millie! Millie, hang on! <gasps> this... this is Machina! How about now, Milliard? Do you need Machina now? The power of Machina saved your life, and you dare reject it! Fifteen years ago, when the Afterling tore your little body apart? What gave you a second chance? Machina, that's what! Am I wrong, Milliard? <laughs> I'm sorry. Soggy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I, I did it again. I lied to you again. My father's telling the truth. Most of my body is made of machina. I owe my life to it. But believe me, my heart is still my own. It's always going to be my own. Don't talk, Millie. You don't have to say anything. I told you before. I trust you. Just stay still. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what father would turn his gun, gun on his own daughter for the sake of ambition? You've gone astray. I, I won't abide, abide it. it. Soggy, look, look after, after Milliard. I will put this craven in his place. Impertinent little scarecrow. Blast, Blast it all. My body won't do as it's told. Stand up, Sagi. Let's finish this business, you and I. I will defeat you and fulfill my destiny.
Did you say destiny? That's right! Destiny! What are you talking about? Come, Daimon! With this battle, we can end it all! Lend me your strength! I'll give you credit. You've done a fine job merging Malpercio's strength with your own. What did you expect? Don't underestimate what we're capable of! What you're capable of? Such an apt choice of words. I never thought our experiment would yield a success story. A complete specimen. You're talking about the Maladeator experiments. But the one Shanath mentioned. That's right, the very same. Would you like to hear about them? You do have a right to know. It began 15 years ago, when Olgan approached me about conducting research on the Afterlings. I was studying the cross-fusion of magna essences. That research became the foundation of today's magna mixtures. Well... How is it coming along? Practical application is just beyond our grasp. Right now, we're able to attain 99.9999% of target output. That leaves a 0.0001% chance that unknown matter will spawn, due to compatibility issues between the magna essences we're fusing. Well, I would say that's a negligible margin of error, wouldn't you? Start putting it to use. But, Your Magnificence, there's a real possibility that any number of accidents could occur. I said I don't care. My people are waiting. This technology will place us at the forefront of the world. But what about... Not one more word, Baelite. Just see that the Magna Mixture research is concluded. I have a new project for you. Wait until you see what we found during the expedition to Hussali. What did you find? A piece of Malpercio's body. No. The legends say pieces of the god were scattered throughout the world. What's so fantastical about finding one? The real surprise is that the pieces are still living. What? Begin researching ways to house those pieces in humans. Even just one piece contains immeasurable power. I want you to bind it to a human heart and artificially create a spiriter. But... is that even possible? You'll make it possible! There's no limit on funding. I will give you any clearance you need. Get started immediately. To house a god inside a human. I did have my reservations about such an outlandish request. But still, I could not quell my curiosity as a researcher. And so the project began. Surprisingly, everything went smoothly. Even the infusion of the Afterling. But then... Lord Bailhide, we've done it! Not yet. We won't know until the subject wakes. What sort of rejection signs will he exhibit? 
The... the subject's waking up. Where... am I? Listen, do you know who I am? Are... you... S saying... This is the Empire's Magnus Research Center. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Stop! Don't aggravate the subject! Where am I? What are you saying? Why did you bring me here? <laughs> Stars Almighty! Steal off the research center! Now! We were able to destroy the test subject, but only after it had obliterated the whole center. When the Emperor learned of the project's failure, he halted it completely. The remaining subjects were quietly released. And one of them was me. So, so that's, that's why, why you said destiny. destiny. You, you want, want to make, make up for your failure. What, what egocentric twaddle. Oh, if that were all it were. But my story's not over yet. When the Afterling ran amok, the entire research center was destroyed. Including my wife, who resided there. And Milliard, you ended up losing most of your body. My wife was gone, my daughter on the edge of death, and any culpability for the incident was on my shoulders. I placed Milliard in a life support unit and fled the Empire. I ran from everything as far as I could. Forgive me, Milliard. My wife, my studies, my career have all been lost. And now, I no longer have the will to go on living. I wanted to die. I was ready. And then... Who's there? Who's speaking to my heart? Don't die? Who are you? Daimon? Don't you see the irony? A man waits for death, and instead he's handed the wisdom and power to sway the world's future! But despite all my doubts, my spirit was just as the legend said. She gave me just the knowledge I was looking for. As soon as I returned to the Empire, I dove into Machina research. I knew I could save the world. What couldn't I do with Machina? I could even trump the Afterling's power. That's my destiny as a Spiriter. I don't do it out of some cheap sense of guilt. Now do you see? That's why I fight! That's why I have to destroy you! How can you call that a reason? That doesn't explain why you have to take people's wings of the heart. Heart wings are remnants from the Age of the Gods. Relying on them will only lead to another tragedy. A thousand years ago, our ancestors became infatuated with the power of their hearts. And what happened? 
They started a war that befouled the world so much that they had to raise the earth into the sky. And afterlings, our hearts will just make more. Am I wrong? Tell me, Soggy! So? What? What the hell is your point? It's self-righteous crap, Balehite. All of it. You can keep your excuses. Excuses? You're making all these wild assumptions based on how you see things. Stop deluding yourself. Take the afterlings. They wouldn't have run amok if you hadn't messed with them. And you think we'll fall prey to the power of our hearts? How do you know? The past is just the past. We don't know what will happen unless we try. Don't be a child. What? People are just like water. They pool in the pits of the world until they overflow and drown each other out. I say, control the flow! Diamond and I can do it! How? You're a person just like everybody else! Enough talk. It's time to silence you and that beast inside you. Guess again. I, I won't, won't let Soggy die. Not on my watch. Or mine. I still think you're wrong, Father. I believe in the human heart. If I don't, how can I ever believe in myself? Do what you want. Even my own blood won't stand between me and my duty to the world. I'll destroy you all if I have to! Come on! Everybody, stand together! Why, Daimon? Why won't you lend me your strength? Wrong? Is that some kind of joke? Answer me, Daimon! You weren't listening to reason anymore. She must have seen that and decided not to help you make it worse. Is that true? Daimon, you think I'm being selfish? Father, please, let's just start over, okay? That's one more thing our hearts are good for, making a fresh start. A fresh start? For me? Father, no! I see you've defeated Balehite. Quaster, when did you arrive, sir? <laughs> Soggy, you've betrayed my hopes time and again. But I'm happy to say you've finally come through for me. Quaster! Father! It seems spiriters aren't good at swaying much of anything, are they? 
Why, from the look of you, you're just the same as any other dying man. Aren't, Aren't you, you a spirit? spiriter? <laughs> it certainly helped to have people think so. Just the word spiriter drew the world's admiration. At least until this wretch came along. But then sustaining the illusion of talking to a spirit all the time takes a lot out of a man. I was starting to look forward to retirement. You, you always struck, struck me as, as disagreeable. disagreeable. Now, now I, I know, know why. why. Hold your tongue, puppet! The Quaestor knew what he was doing. Obviously, this was his way of bringing peace to the world. Were you only as humble as I by his tremendous foresight and vision? Now the world can finally be at peace. Well done, sir! Peace? Spare me, Gelda Blame. I have no such peace to give. What? What do you mean? I will restructure the world as its new leader, in keeping with Baelheit's legacy of machina and warfare. Peace. <laughs> Why, that would only lift the people's spirits. That's too tasty a morsel to squander. No, I believe I'll start by eliminating the senatorial riffraff that refused to elect me. Followed by all the obsequious fools who opposed me! <laughs> you... you used us? Sagi, you were a pawn. Just the one I needed to stand against pro-machination. A real spiriter would have been better, but I knew a maladeator like you would still prove useful in exterminating the other afterlings. A maladeator? So you knew. I ought to. I was the one who recommended you for the project 15 years ago. Your mother, Gina, was it? She was one of my servants. I informed Olgan the moment I heard she was with child. So, there you are. As long as I am spilling secrets, how's this? I was the one who had that whore's wings pulled out. Baleheit had won over the people by fending off the Afterlings. So I thought I could smear his good name by drawing out the Afterling within you right there in front of him. Then that means Shanath. Just another pawn on my board. Like you, except useful. You son of a... I'll kill you nice and slow when I get to it. First, I need to put Terrazet back in order. Wait! Quaestor Varus! I'll go with you! I don't think you understand. I have everything. I don't need you or anything else now. You're going to abandon me? Sir! But I've done everything for you! You were beautiful once. But not anymore. Old toys are a waste of space. What else would I do but throw you away? Old? If you'll all excuse me... Are, Are you, you all right, right Sagi? Sagi? Yeah, but forget me. What about Millie's father? Father! Father, hold on! We can still start over. All of us together. Milliard, forgive me. 
I'm so sorry. No! Stop apologizing! You're not going to die! Sagi, don't think badly of my daughter. I made her do all of those things. I know. I know. <laughs> Goodbye, Daimon. I'm sorry we never got to see the end of your story. All right, you two. There's no time to dawdle. We have to go after Varys. Millie. Don't, don't pretend, pretend it, it didn't happen. happen. It's, it's okay, okay to, to cry. cry. I'm... I'm fine. There'll be plenty of time to cry later. For right now, I, I, I can't... All right. You can cry once this business is done with. And I mean buckets. You better not let me down. <laughs> like I'd ever cry in front of you. That's the spirit. Well, we'd better go. Varys is probably heading for Terra Zed's core. Okay, let's hurry. <laughs> <laughs> 